You ever go get your car washed, but then before you leave, you look at your tires because you want them to be shiny, but they're not. And you're like, you know what, man? I need, I need that a little bit shinier. That is exactly what this fragrance is. The shinier tire. Mad B guys, welcome back. And I want to talk a lot about this fragrance, just so much that I can't even contain myself. So this is a 2017 release. This is a fragrance that flew right under the radar. And I say this because I haven't seen anything out there on this fragrance, so I thought I'd bring it to you. So 2017 was the release of this fragrance, which around that time I was kind of wondering what the new craze of Creed was gonna be, which obviously later in that year was Viking. But amidst the summer of that year of 2017, I really don't know what I was doing. I can't really recall because my brain won't go back that far, but I do get the sort of aura of what was to come. And it seemed like a very bright and beautiful year for fragrances. So that's why I really, really enjoy this fragrance now in 2019, because I get to travel back in time, sort of. So the fragrance that I am referring to is, boom, Ataru Chrome Pure. So this kind of reminds me of like being on a yacht in the coast of Miami, enjoying the sun and the day. This fragrance kind of emotes that kind of vibrational frequency, if you will, in your perception of this fragrance. We already know the DNA of Bazzaro Chrome, and it was a huge success, obviously, but now you can find it super discounted, and that's fine. But this one is a complete, beautiful, spring and mostly summer giant. This emotes sun, ocean, saltiness, water, lime, with a hint of spice and sweetness. So you're looking at a woody, citrusy, spicy, just beautiful blend and concoction of a fragrance. Upon initial spray, I sensed that this fragrance or what the perfumers were trying to achieve was to give you a visual of beautiful white sands and beach without coconut because everybody kind of imagines that sort of vibe with coconut or suntan lotion. This does not give you that kind of vibe. You go to your favorite juice bar and they're mixing up some citruses, some tangerine and some bergamot, just in a blender. And then they decide, you know what, I'm gonna throw in some Akigala wood. Bam, there's your spice. Weird, but very effective. Something sweet is missing here and you just drop some tonka bean in that, bitch. And I'm telling you right now, that is a smoothie I would drink and that is in this bottle. So as previously stated, the main players in this fragrance are tangerine, akigala wood, and tonka bean. Those main players just blended, I think, beautifully to achieve what they wanted, and that is some sort of a nostalgia of a coastline or of a beautiful, warm, summery day. Beach weather, beach weather. I actually really like this fragrance. This fragrance definitely, definitely plays to my olfactory senses. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this. There is not really much else to say other than you gotta get your hands on this, like 30 bucks. Not bad for a relatively new release. Of course, it's gonna drop. I got this, it was a tester, but you can find it for a very, very reasonable price. Definitely under $50. This is a 100 mil bottle. The projection is fantastic. The longevity, fantastic. The silage, amazing. I put this on in the morning, and even in the late afternoon, I was getting wafts of this gorgeous sort of warm, woody, and just citrusy vibe. I can't stress this enough. This is a perfect fragrance for your summer or spring and summer collection. So upon wearing this fragrance, I didn't really get any compliments except for my significant other and she loved it. Upon initial spray, she said, what is that? That's amazing. Keep it in your collection. And I was like, all right, yeah, I mean, it's it's mine. I bought it. I'm keeping it in my collection. This is thing. This is thing. It's a keeper. So as I said before, and just to reiterate sort of my point, this is a fragrance that you would want to use again, warm to hot weather. So the seasons that I see this for obviously are spring and summer. But I don't really see this playing well in the winter. I don't think that this would really give you the performance that you would desire. I feel that what is in this bottle just activates better with heat. So I think this is a daytime wearing fragrance, in my opinion. You could probably pull it off at night. I mean, I don't think anybody cares, really. It's, it's quite subjective. I would feel more uplifted and sort of want to do things in the sun or in the heat or in the daytime with this fragrance. It doesn't really call 
for a nighttime sort of feel or vibe. But if you were in some place sort of like Ocean Drive in South Beach or Las Olas Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale, I could kind of see this working in the evening. I could, I could see that. But it's, it's gotta be hot, it's gotta be warm, it can't be cold. I don't think this will work well in that. It's probably looking at me saying how dare you, but I don't care. I don't think dressed up, for sure I don't think dressed up. But do you boo, if that's what you feel like you need to do. I just wanted to give you my take on this fragrance. I think it's fantastic from the house of Ataro. I would definitely, definitely recommend you try this fragrance, especially for the price point. It's not that expensive. It is fire in the heat. This is definitely something you should try. All right guys, so that would wrap up this video for this particular fragrance. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. That's three things. Comment and we'll talk it out. I respond, so what's up? Bring it, bring it. If you like an oriental, citrusy, woody fragrance, this is definitely up your butt. <laughs> Again, this is Mad V. Comment, like, subscribe, you know, do all that stuff that y'all know how to do and stuff. Sign it off. Sign it off with your fools. Sign it off. In England, you shouldn't do this, but in America, you can. But we should do this.